Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am Beauty by Lenore across all of my social media platforms. Today's haul is going to be a high-end luxury haul coming in from MAC Cosmetics, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and also Beautylish with a couple of products coming in off the Beautylish website. So let's not hold you too long. If you're ready, let's go ahead and get into the haul. You're my beauty one taking me home. Uh, the first package we got in came in from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And with Jeffree Star Cosmetics, I just went ahead and ordered four liquid lipsticks that I needed. Um, two of them are actually just repurchases. The first one that I got in is Clout. And if you can see that, Clout is so very pretty. And here is Clout actually swatched on the hand. And that's what Clout looks like. Cloud is going to be like a metallic lavender, and it is just a super stunning color. The next one I went ahead and got was a repurchase of Dominatrix because my other one was already out. So just a repurchase of Dominatrix, guys. And here is Dominatrix swatched on the hand. And it's just that deep brown that you guys know I love to do as a liner for all of my new looks. Since I actually don't wear lip liners, I use Dominat Dominatrix as my liner. And the next one I got in is going to be Drug Lord. <laughs> and Drug Lord is exactly what you think it is. It's a pure white liquid lipstick. This is their liquid velour lips. And here is Drug Lord Swatched. And I went ahead and got Drug Lord because I thought it would be a great addition, not only for eyeliner and different things I'm doing since. You can also use these as eye, they're eye safe for the most part, but I do use them for liners and different things on the actual eye. And I love the way they dry down because of the way they dry down, they don't smudge or move. And the last one I got, of course, was Weirdo. Weirdo is just your black liquid lip. And the reason why I got Weirdo is because I could have sworn I had a black liquid lipstick already, but I only have black lipsticks, not a liquid lipstick. So I needed one, so I went ahead and ordered it. So here you have Weirdo, Drug Lord, Dominatrix, and that first one is going to be Clout. The other thing that I got came in from Beautylish. And Beautylist now has, sends their package out different now. They used to do, you wrapped in the paper. Now it actually comes in this little open box that actually comes out like that. And of course, the first thing that I got, of course, for me was going to be the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. And I got my shade in the same color that I have my stick in. I can't find my shade in the Hourglass Foundation, either stick or liquid. But here's the Hourglass Vanish Foundation, and I got the shade Golden Almond. It's what you see swatched right here on my chest. Because of the lights, it may look like it blends into my skin tone, but it's way too dark. See, it's way too dark. It goes into the bruise category. So it's too dark for me. And here is what the actual bottle looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a try just to really try to see how I like it. I did go ahead and put the Vanish Foundation on my chest about six hours ago at this point. It's still sticky and it still transfers off on my actual hand. See that? And that's from six hours ago. So I definitely will say this is something that I'm definitely going to have to set. I know, you know, they... Sometimes say you don't have to set it, you know, or you don't have to use primer. But with these, I'm definitely going to be using a primer and I'm definitely going to be setting it because, yeah, no. It's, it's, I don't know. I wish I could actually find my shade in this actual foundation because the sticks are absolutely amazing. And I'm hoping that this will be pretty good too. If not, it's going back to Beautylish. The next thing I got was the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the airbrush, the airbrush flawless finish. This is a skin perfecting micro powder. And I got mine in shade three dark. So here's the Charlotte Tilbury and here's the actual packaging. And 
I got it in the shade dark. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Of course, it comes with a little mirror. And you're looking like, hmm, when, whose complexion is that going to be? But I promise you guys, it's more or less like a finishing powder that you just put over your complexion at the very end. And because it's so fine, it literally goes in and melts into your skin. And you'll see that slight sheen right there on my hand. It actually goes in and gives your skin a beautiful airbrush finish with a very healthy sheen. Not many. I'll have oily skin, so we don't need anything extra shiny. But that sheen just gives your face life. After you powder and set with a spray and everything, you want to go ahead and just go over this as the actual final step because this will just blur everything in and bring everything back to life on your actual skin. I saw Patrick Starr use this in one of his latest videos with, I think it was Be Love's Life, he used this on her. So I wanted to go ahead and actually try that out for myself and really see how that'll work for me. And the last thing that I got in from Beautylish is my Kevin Aquan. This is the, the, the Ethereal Supernatural Concealer and I got the shade Medium EC06. It is what you see right here on my chest, washed already on my chest. But here we go, guys. And this is the shade EC06. Don't be confused because you'll see the tube is super light, but it's actually a little darker than that. So not something you guys have to worry about. And here it is swatched on my skin tone, just so you guys can see. And what it looks like blended out just a little bit better on my actual hand. I heard Platinum D talk about this so much. She raves on and on and on about the Kevin Aquan concealer. So I did definitely want to go ahead and give this a try just to see, you know, if this is something that'll actually work for me. And that is going to be it from the actual Beautylish haul, guys. So that's it for that one. And remember when I told you I had to take that liquid lipstick back to MAC because I already had top with brandy. Top with brandy. I don't know why I went ahead and got another one. Problem about walking into stores and saying, hey, I'm going to take something back is this right here. So instead of me just walking in and minding my own business and taking the stuff back to Mac, I just had to, had to get caught up. And some of the items they had, where they had different sales and stuff, uh, they had a 40% off sale on some of their items. Um, starting off, she gave me a free sample of Fix Plus, the travel size Fix Plus. And I was like, that's cute. Um, yeah, I don't know when I would ever travel with something this small. And she also went ahead and gave me a MAC, an extra dimension 3D black eyelash. So this is their mascara. But this is what I got when I went up to the actual register. And I'm loving this one because this is the MAC Classic Cutie eyeshadow palette and once you take it out the unicorn the little plastic unicorn this is what it looks like on the inside I hate the fact that they have the names on the actual plastic versus actually putting the names on the actual palette they clearly had enough space to do that but these shades are so beautiful. They are your light pinky shades. And this huge highlighter is just stunningly beautiful on women of color. It's a really light sheen of a highlighter. But if you use this as a highlighter topper, it'll actually go in and help lighten up your highlights. And it'll give a glow. It has minimum lav lavender behind it but it'll give it just the prettiest glow but part of the reason why i got it is because i'm gonna sh swatch some of these shades for you guys just so you can actually see and these are going to be swatched on bare skin with no primer or anything i absolutely love this one and since this was on sale for 40 percent off I was able to go ahead and get this one for $16.40. It was normally $41. 
I had a sale and a discount. So I got this one for $16.40. And MAC eyeshadows are still OG eyeshadows. Especially if you're able to find them on sale like this. They're definitely worth it to actually go ahead and get it. The next thing we're going to go ahead and go over is I went ahead and picked up one of the Hyper, Weird, Hyper Real Foundations. Which is just pretty much a liquid highlighter. And I went ahead and got the, show, the shade Gold FX. And pretty much what you're going to get with this particular product is just a highlighter. Literally, it's just a highlighter. And it's going to be a gold highlighter. And swatched across the skin, it's going to leave you with a very shiny gold look. And this is something that you'll be able to put underneath foundation, mix into foundation. And because it shears down to this gold right here, it becomes very women of color friendly. So that one is stunningly beautiful. And this one was going to be on sale for $12.40. So again, guys, if you got a Mac or anything near you or by you, definitely go ahead, go in and see what they got. I did go ahead and get a Metro Matte Liquid Lip Color. The shade I got was in Carnivorous. And this is the shade I picked up. It is a deep blood red, blackened, with just a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit of orange to pull up the maroon. So it's a deep, ready maroon. It is such a beautiful shade. I went ahead and got that. And because they did have the sale, I was able to... This one was full price, not on sale, since this is part of their regular lineup. So this one was $22. And the next thing that I actually got was a Dazzle Shadow. And this is the I Like to Watch. And with I like to watch, the reason why I went ahead and got it is because of the dual chrome. Anytime you have anything that comes with a dual chrome, I'm a sucker for it. I'm definitely going to show up for anything dual chrome. See how it changes and turns? It goes to a pinky purple, back to a blinding gold, back to a pinky purple, and then it disappears. I love that. Pinky purple, blinding gold, and then it disappears. Anytime you're saying that I can get any type of dual chrome that goes in and plays off color that way, I'm all here for it. I'm always going to sign up for that. And that is that, guys. That's everything that came in from this haul from Matt Cosmetics, Beautylish, and also Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So stay tuned because we will be playing with some of these products in some upcoming videos. And some of them were just repurchases. You've already seen me use some of them, but for the new ones, definitely about to get into some new product reviews and try to see if it actually works for you. And of course, with that hourglass, with that hourglass foundation, we're going to try to really see if it works with porous acne prone oily skin and how I'm able to see if I can get that shade to work for me don't really know yet and we're also going to check out that uh Kevin Aquan concealer just to make sure you know to see how pretty it'll sit on the skin or if it'll crease or do anything weird we're definitely going to check that out but again thank you so much for spending time with me and hopefully you've seen something that you like and if not if nothing else girl walk into your mac and see what they have on clearance and what's on sale because a lot of times you'll be surprised what they have in store that's on clearance and sale that may have already sold out online or may not be available online so i always encourage you to walk into your actual mac store prior to pay purchasing an online mac order if you can actually help it go into the store and see what they have too but thank you so much for spending time with me and until you next time youtube